My word, that's heavy. It's Johnny here, and we are going to be unboxing the fall of Amiga 7, the fantastic new two-player starter set from Dead Zone. So let's get straight into it. Let's shrink wrap off. Uh, let's flip this huge box over and see what we get inside. So the reason it's so heavy, not only do you get all your miniatures in here, you also get a colossal amount of terrain to be able to play this game. You get your two rule books. You get a gaming mat as well. This is a double-sided paper mat. One side is the full dead zone board. And if you flip it round, you will see there is also um, quick play, quick start rules, as well as a little scenario. You also get uh, punch boards with your counters. You get all your dice. And of course, as I said, you get a plague force and an Asterian force as well. Let's crack this open and show you what we're talking about. Look at that amount of plastic. We are talking about a huge amount of plastic. Let's count out. This is all the uh, terrain on the top of here at the moment. So let's count this out. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12, if we count the connectors, that is 12 bags of terrain. This is all modular terrain. I can show you there. You can see these little square holes here. You can use these connectors, um, lots of different options, and you can clip those in here, and then you build modular uh, buildings. D8s. Dead Zone is played with D8s because everybody loves an exploding eight and a set of command dice as well so these have or these you roll these at the start of each turn in this little bubble bag we have the which one's this this is the plague general so this is a beautiful resin model so it will be in different sections and see there the uh, the detail of this resin is really really nice and to one side and then this is the Matsudan Otasora. So he's a really nice big chunky model. And then he's got his, his, uh, his gun and his gun arm there as well. Bases, lots of bases. And then we have two sprues of Asterians here. This is the um, marionettes. You can see that you get one, two, three, four, five marionettes in here. You see the main bodies are in this separate little bag. I'm going to take these out because plastic is glaring on the screen. And you want to have a proper look at them. There you go. So that is the bodies in there. Just try and pop this open as well. Let's see. Really nice models there. And then you've got your heads and your down there. You've got your heads and your weapons and your arms and things. And also this really cool looking droid as well in the middle there. So you get two of those. Because you've also got another one here. And then one, two, three packs here of what we got. We've got two packs of the plague zombies and one pack of one pack of the third gens. Again, open these up for you. Do make sure when you are opening these larger bags that they do have smaller bags inside, so you don't want to be throwing those away. Again, really nice, uh, nice models, lots of detail on these. These got really big, brutish uh, weaponry and things like that. And uh, not forgetting, of course, the best of all, little plague dog there. Really, really cool little model. 
and there's the the rest of the bodies there and then similarly with these zombies in here as well Anyway, you can see there's one two three four five sets of legs there different bodies a few different head options okay so that's all the miniatures out of the way this is the paper mat i was talking about and as you can see on this side we have all these different how to play rules you see that's a really nice uh, nice mat there of all the grids that you need for playing dead zone that's how the movement works in this game and then you can see there's the stats and quick play guides in here you can just fit it on the screen it's quite a big map and then the other side is simply the gaming arena or battlefield but without those quick start guides around the outside so this is really good for if you're just learning you can play this quick scenario on this side and then you can flip it over when you're more au fait with the rules and uh, go full scale here's the punch board that i was talking about nothing more satisfying than uh, getting a new game and being able to punch counters out of a punch board so i won't punch these i'll let somebody else do that and then as i say you have your force list book this has all the different stat lines for all the different factions Lots of nice imagery as well, some of the artwork, and everything you need is in there. And then separately, you have the rule book. So this goes through all the rules you need to know for playing. Weapon stats, how to move, how to attack. Everything you can imagine in a rule book, all nice and laid out in simple format. And then, because it's a two player starter set, you have a nice, handy little getting started guide in here as well. This is how to assemble the models, how to assemble the scenery. So you can see there what I was talking about with the uh, connectors. This is really handy if you're particularly new, not just to, to Mantic or to Dead Zone, but to the hobby in general just makes it all much more accessible for you so there we go that is the fall of amiga 7 this is a fantastic set if you're wanting to get into dead zone or if you are thinking of starting a plague or Asterian force and you have maybe a friend that also wants to get involved you could be able to split it and uh, fight over the rule book and that sort of thing don't forget guys to like and subscribe to these videos we're going to be doing much more of these short little unboxing videos in the future and if you wish to win yes win this exact box that i have unboxed today stick yourself a nice complimentary comment in the comment section down below and you could be in the chance of winning this box until next time guys i'll see you again soon